Hey everybody, what's up? This is Kevin back with The Serious Man. And in today's video, this one is for everybody unwrapping your new iPhone 13s. And you're probably wondering, how can I add a little bit of spice to this layout? Well, today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how quick and easily that is. Now, there are a few things you're gonna need before we get started. First of which is an iPhone 13 or iPhone with iOS 15 already installed. Next, we'll need the Widget Smith app. You're gonna need an app icon pack. You're gonna need a wallpaper to set your theme and let you know what you're customizing for. And most importantly is the shortcuts app. Now, for everybody that's missing iOS 15, just got one question for you. Where have you been? <laughs> no, just playing. I'm gonna put links in the description below as to where you can get iOS 15 and everything else I'm gonna be using for this video. As for the shortcuts app, that comes pre-installed with iOS 15, but no worries. I'll put a link in the description below as to where you can get that as well. All right, so now let's get to customizing. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we wanna to go to photos and set our background. And for this video, I'm gonna be using the gold wallpaper to match that of the gold iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. We got our wallpaper here, so we wanna go there. And we're gonna use as wallpaper. And we're gonna set, and we wanna do both. So now our home screen looks just like that. That's step one. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna eliminate all the extra pages that we're gonna need, because we just now have one page for our app icons, or at least our custom apps, where those are gonna be at. Now, in order to do that, the first thing we need to do is hold on here, and then tap that again, and it's gonna bring all of your pages. You can hide the pages that you don't want by tapping on these circle icons there. Once you've done that, we wanna leave just one and hit done and then hit done one more time. So now we've only got just one page and that's what we want. After that, we wanna customize our apps. So we're gonna go to shortcuts and then we're gonna tap the plus sign and then we want to add an action. Now we want to open app. There we go. We're gonna choose our app and for this example, let's go with the clock icon. All right, clock. Now to customize it, you wanna tap here. The share icon, so we wanna go that. Add the home screen, and then tap on the icon itself. We downloaded our app Propax to the files app, so we wanna go to the file. And now, we want to choose which icon we want to use for that shortcut. So let's find one that looks like a clock. There we go. So now you can see it's changed it to look like a clock. We want to change the name. So we're going to change that to clock. All right, go on return and then tap add. Once you've done that, you swipe up to go back to your home screen. It's added a new home screen and there's your app right there. Very, very, very simple. Let's do one more. So we're gonna go back to the shortcuts app. And instead of clock, we're gonna go with messages. There we go. Tap here, add to home screen, tap on the icon. And if you had a photo, you could choose your own photo. If you wanted to take one, you could take your own custom photo to use as the app or the icon. We're gonna go back here to file. Let's scroll up, let's find one. Let's see which one, how about we go with, I still don't see one, guys. There we go, so let's go with this one here. And then we're going to change the name to messages. Hit return, add to home screen, and then swipe to go back to your home screen. And there it is, we have the app, and we have that as well. Now you guys are probably wondering, what about these apps here? Can we get rid of those to hide them? Yes, you can. So let's go there. We're gonna hold 
and you can remove, and we're going to remove app and go to remove from home screen. Let's do that. We're going to remove and remove from home screen. Remove from home screen and remove app and remove from home screen. You're removing from home screen, which will hide them in your app catalog here. It's not going to delete them. That way, let's create another shortcut. And this time, we're going to go with, let's say phone. And then we want to go here, add the home screen, choose a file. Let's find one that looks like a phone. How about that? You don't have to use the one that it says it is. You can be creative as you want and use whatever it is you feel. So we're going to change that name to phone. And we're going to add. When we go back to the home screen, we can press and hold. We can edit and then drag that down there. Very, very, very simple. So the next thing that you guys want to do once you have your layout complete is you want to add a widget. So for the widgets, I'm using what's called Widget or Widget Smith. We're going to go ahead and open that up. So I've got Widget Smith here. This is what Widget Smith looks like. I'm using the pro version of it. Let's do a large widget. So we're going to do add a large widget. Let's select the theme. All right, I know I probably want to customize my theme for this. So let's go with, do they have a gold? They don't have a gold, so we'll go to custom. We'll pick a color. All right, so there's a gold. Hit save. Oh, did I do it? Let's go over and start one more time. I think I deleted it accidentally. So we'll go customize theme, that, save. All right. Now let's go to style. For this, we'll go with time and locations. All right, so I'm in Raleigh, so we'll go with Raleigh, that's good. Style setting, that's good. Let's go back. We're gonna rename this so I know which one it is. We're gonna call it, we're gonna call it clock. All right, we're gonna save it. So now I have the basic one here and I have the one that I made. We're gonna go back to our home screen, hold, hit the plus sign for your widgets. Let's scroll down. We're gonna use widget Smith. And this is a large widget. So we wanna to go to large widgets, add that. After it adds it, now what you wanna do is tap on that widget tap here again, select the widget that we made. And then once that's done, we can tap there. And boom, you guys have your new custom home screen. Hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Oh, by the way, here's what I was using. Let me show you guys. One more thing. Shout out to Nate Renz. Here's the app icon pack that I've been using for this video. I'll link that in the description as well. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So again, thanks you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you give me a like and subscribe, feel free to hit me up if you have any questions and subscribe to my blog for a lot more. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Peace. Hey everybody, what's up? This is Kevin actually back again. And there are a few things that I noticed when I was going through and editing the first part of this video that I forgot to mention. So I want to take a moment to go over that right now. First of all, I want to show you guys what it looks like when you open up a shortcut. There used to be in iOS 14 a separate screen that would appear when you open up your shortcuts. But now in iOS 15, all you see is that notification appears right there at the top. So there's no lag between opening up your shortcuts. It goes straight to the application itself. Now, another important thing is when you're going back into the Shortcuts app and making these new ones, 
You want to make sure to press this X at the top right hand corner to come back to the screen and create a new shortcut. If you swipe over in your multitask and do it from the shortcuts app, when you already have one made, it's just gonna replace that new, or at least that app that you already had made. So each time that you do it, you gotta start from scratch. And then what I'm gonna do now is go to create one for the books. So I'll search for books. We'll go to add to home screen. We're gonna tap on the icon first, go down to file. Let's try to find something that's quick and easy that I can use. Uh, just for this example, uh, let's go down. Scroll down a little bit more. Come on, where's something? All right, I think that male one will do. So let's go ahead, we'll use that. And then I'm gonna change the name, of course, to books. Yes, cool, tap add. I'm gonna go back to the home screen and there is the new books shortcut. So now that I've created a new one from the beginning, clock opens up as clock, book opens up as books instead of it replacing it like I was demonstrating before in the video before this. So again, remember guys to do that. Uh, yeah. Oh, and here's one more thing I wanted to show you. If you were to delete your bookmark, it just deletes the bookmark. As you can see, we can just hold on that and then press remove from device. Boom, delete the bookmark and it doesn't delete the app itself so as you can see the books app is still there on the phone this is only deleting the shortcut to the app not the actual app itself so um yeah that's pretty much it guys if you have any other questions feel free to hit me up apologize for missing that in the first part of the video but until then stay safe again thanks for watching